Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Tony Parker, and I want to welcome you to the EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, and Law of Attraction, LOA, Law of Attraction Workshop for Manifesting Your Soulmate. Um, I guess is what we're going to do is people trickle in. Uh, we'll, we'll do the uh, gratitude tap, and then we'll, you know, carry on with the rest of the workshop. So the way the gratitude tap works is each one of us is invited to check in and share something we're grateful for, and then we all tap on it together as a group. So uh, at the moment, there's just one other person in here right now. Uh, so who'd like to check in and share something we're, uh, you're grateful for? Hi, this is Anna, and I am grateful for the opportunity to work on one of the most difficult uh, riddles in my life, and that is I'd like to be with someone. Awesome. I, Very good. Yeah. Okay, top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath and now release. Okay. And, uh, well, I'll check in and share that I'm feeling very replete and satisfied. I had a, a chicken, some chicken pot pie and a pesto pizza, a little piece of pesto pizza. And I've had more than enough food that I can handle for one day. And I'm feeling very satisfied, satiated warm and snuggly while a cold wind is blowing outside. So top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate Chop, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath and I'll release. Okay. Very good. Well, uh, at the moment, Anna, you and I are the only people in the room at the moment. I'm kind of surprised because I, I started this workshop because there were several regular members of our various workshops who were demanding that I start this. <laughs> so they are eating dinner and they're probably eating something similar to your pie and they get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, like I said, I'm surprised because they demanded, demanded that I, I, I start this workshop. But anyway. Don't so, trust the fans. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do a couple of exercise is a variation on the gratitude tap and this is very very powerful stuff okay this really works now there's two ways this can work if you're in an existing relationship okay you make a list of the things that you are grateful for about your existing partner i'm saying if you're in, in a relationship uh you make a list of the things about your partner that you are grateful for and then you tap on them doing thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not in a relationship, and shall we say you're shopping. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm, sh and I'm not shopping. I'm dreaming. <laughs> okay. You're, you're thinking about shopping. Okay. You're dreaming. What you do is you make a list of the previous times in your life where you have loved and been loved. Even though it may not have lasted forever, it may have ended, uh, may, maybe it even had a negative outcome. At least at some point and at some moment in your life, you were loved and you did love somebody. Okay? Welcome, everybody. Uh, those of you coming in later, we're doing the gratitude tap and we're doing a kind of the, the love tap. We're going to call this one the love tap. Okay? And what I, what I was just saying is make a list. If you're in an existing relationship, make a list of the aspects of your partner that you are grateful for, 
okay? And then you do the thank you, thank you, thank you while you're tapping. Or if you're shopping, okay, if you're window shopping, uh, you make a list of the past times that you have loved and been loved in your life, okay? Because what we're trying to do is connect with that that moment where you were loved and did love. Even if the relationship didn't last, even if there was a negative outcome, at least maybe for five minutes you were loved, okay? Or you did love somebody, even if it was unrequited, even if it was, you know, there was, a, like I said, an un, unhappy outcome, okay? Perhaps even for five minutes there was that feeling of loving and being loved, okay? And so... What we're all going to do right now is, if you want, let's all check in. Uh, and what we do is just say the initials of that. If you were, if you're shopping, okay, just check in with the initials of the person that you 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 did love and did love you. Okay, so uh, who'd like to check in, please? This is Anna. The initial is U. Okay, very good. All right, let's start tapping on the top of the head. And now just say thank you. Okay, eyebrow, thank you. Okay, side of the eye, thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath and now release. Very good. Excellent. Would anybody else like to check in either with the initials of someone they did love and who did love them at one point in their past or the characteristics, a positive characteristic of somebody they're in a relationship with right now? Okay, well, I'm just going to share a past love, top of the head, DM, okay, thank you. Okay, eyebrow, thank you. Okay, side of the eye, thank you. Okay, under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Okay, collarbone, thank you. Yep. Under the arm, thank you. you. Karate chop, thank you. Okay, very good. Let's all take a deep breath and now release. Okay, would anybody else like to check in and share, uh, participate in our love tap? Uh, and share with uh, uh, either the initials of somebody who did love or was loved by, et cetera, or a positive characteristic of a current love interest. Okay. Well, so much for the love tap. Uh, like I said, I'm really surprised because there was such a, uh, a demand, or at least people were telling me they wanted, they wanted, they wanted this workshop. And <laughs> There's... Two brave souls here tonight with me, which is cool. That's fine. As long as there's somebody who wants to do some EFT, I'm here. Okay. All right. We're now going to do Ho'oponopono, which is absolutely perfect for healing relationships, healing past relationships, healing any kind of pain. It's good for remote healing. And the way it works is actually the classic way that this was uh, practiced, i.e., the way when it was rediscovered by the uh, Hawaiian-American uh, psychiatrist, uh, you know, who was a director of a mental institution. He was actually practicing Ho'oponopono over the case files of his patients in a mental institution. And uh, so he was practicing what we would consider today, we would call remote healing, okay? Now, you can use this to heal a, either an existing relationship. You can also use it to... Uh, uh, heal a uh, past relationship, any love pain or what have you. And the way to do that would be if you have a photograph of a current partner, past partner, 
uh, or somebody who's ill, who want, who needs healing, okay, you place that photograph in front of you and do Ho'oponopono, okay? Uh, or, you know, like I said, you can just have the picture in your mind's eye. Uh, welcome aboard, Krish. By the way, are you familiar with EFT? Are you familiar with EFT and the Law of Attraction? I am. This is Anna. Hi, Anna. Okay. No, no, I'm, there's a couple of new people who walked in. I just want to make sure they're familiar with EFT. Okay. All righty. All right. So now we're going to do Ho'oponopono. And what I would suggest you do is if you want to heal either an existing relationship or perhaps some, shall we say, hurt feelings about a past relationship, uh, you can either put the uh, person in your mind's eye or if you have a picture of that person or if you wish to do some remote healing with somebody or for somebody, uh, then have their picture in your mind's eye or a picture in front of you. Okay, so what we're going to now do is we're going to do Ho'oponopono. We're going to do it in English, okay? And again, Simon says just follow along. Uh, watch me tap uh, if, you, if you're online and you can see me in the video or uh, just, you know, Follow along as I direct you, okay? So Simon says, okay, let's start tapping the top of the head. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, eyebrow, please forgive me. Okay, side of the eye, I forgive you. Okay, under the eye, I forgive myself. Okay, under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, I love you. Okay, collarbone, I'm sorry. Okay, under the arm, please forgive me. Forgive me. Karate chop, I forgive you. I forgive you. Top of the head, I forgive myself. Okay, eyebrow, thank you. Side of the eye, I love you. Under the eye, I'm sorry. Under the nose, please forgive me. Under the mouth, I forgive you. Okay, collarbone, I forgive myself. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, I love you. Okay, let's do it one more time. Top of the head, I'm sorry. Eyebrow, please forgive me. Side of the eye, I forgive you. Okay. Under the eye, I forgive myself. Under the nose, thank you. Under the mouth, I love you. A collarbone, I'm sorry. Under the arm, please forgive me. Karate chop, I forgive you. Top of the head, I forgive myself. Eyebrow, thank you. Side of the eye, I love you. Under the eye, I'm sorry. Under the nose, please forgive me. Under the mouth, I forgive you. Collarbone, I forgive myself. Under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, I love you. Now take a deep breath and now release. Okay, so that's using Ho'oponopono. By the way, you guys, you are you guys all following along? Because I can't hear anybody. Yes. Uh, okay, good. Excellent. Okay, good. I just, like I said, I can't hear anybody, so it's, it's weird. All righty. So you can use Ho'oponopono to heal relationships. You can also use it to heal memories of relationships. It's a very healing uh, program, uh, script, as it were. You can also use it to affect remote healing for people who are ill. And again, either placing their picture in your mind's eye or, uh, you know, again, uh, uh, placing, uh, just having their picture in, uh, in front of a real photograph in front of you. Okay. So now let's move on to another tap. That's really good. Again, we're still in our kind of warm up series right now. Uh, and the next tap we're going to use is the protective shield of golden light, which is a great exercise for protecting us from other people's negative energy, uh, which sometimes happens in a relationship. Okay. Uh, uh, but also, you know, just by going into a room and there's weird energy and, you know, you don't want it sticking to you. 
Okay, and now just follow along with me. Simon says, again, it's a very easy, simple tap. Just, you know, follow along. Just repeat what I say and just tap on the places where I indicate. All right, top of the head, energy system, eyebrow. I'm instructing you. I'm instructing you. So I to generate a protective shield of golden light. Protective shield of golden light. Under the eye, all around my body. All around my body. On a nose, protecting me from all negative energies. Protecting me from all negative energy. Under the mouth, all negative influences. Okay. Collarbone, all negative intentions. All negative. Okay, under the arm. All negative entities. All negative entities. Karate chop, sending them all to the sun to be transmuted to love. Sending them all to the sun to be transmuted to love. Very good. Excellent. Let's go top of the head. Only allowing in. Okay. Eyebrow loving. Side of the eye healing. Under the eye positive. Under the nose energies. energies. Under the mouth and intentions. And intentions. Collarbone. And if I have any negative energies or intentions. And if I have any negative energies or intentions. Under the arm. I send them all to the sun. I send them all to the sun. Karate chop to be transmuted to love. Be transmuted to love. Okay, very good. Let's all take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, very good. So there you go. That's uh, the protective shield of golden light. And again, it's a great little uh exercise okay all righty so now uh let's move on with uh, uh the check-in time all right we're going to do some other tapping exercises but now's the time uh where everybody's invited to check in uh say hi and perhaps share any interests or goals or how they're feeling about uh, love, intimacy, and relationships, and what they'd like to work on tonight, what specific issues they may want to work on, okay? P primarily about love, intimacy, relationships, finding a soulmate, keeping a soulmate, uh, manifesting a soulmate, okay? Or healing a relationship, okay? So who'd like to check in first? Go ahead, please. This is Anna. Hi, Anna. Welcome aboard. Hi. I want to find a soulmate, and I want to have a relationship with a soulmate that is different from the relationship I had with my husband, whom I divorced. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's a good. In that's a very interesting intention that you brought that up, because uh, they've done surveys on people who get divorces, and there's a very significant pattern and number of people okay who uh divorce remarry very quickly after and usually end up with the same person they marry they divorce previously or with the same kind of relationship and uh this is something i stressed in my workshops i had i ran a series of relationship workshops in hyde park uh for a number of years at the, uh, oh gosh, the uh, healing, healing center, uh, the Hyde Park Healing Center. Uh, and uh, what we found was that a number of people, they really needed to do a lot of inner work in order not to keep picking the same people over and over and over again, that there was a pattern of constantly picking the same partner over and over and over again, which leads us to believe that a lot of our partner picking behavior is really due to kind of very early, early programming. Obviously, we're picking somebody in our uh, immediate family or our immediate early upbringing, whether it's family of origin or significant people in our childhood, et cetera. We seem to, uh, you know, get imprinted and then repeat that program over and over. So, uh, and it's very hard to break that program. It requires a lot of work. However, the good news is EFT 
is a very, very powerful program. It's definitely emotional and spiritual and psychological Norton or McAfee antivirus. And that's how I kind of look at this, that this program to keep picking the wrong partner over and over again is like a virus. It's like a computer virus. And we need to kind of delete the virus. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, anyway, but thanks a lot for sharing. And definitely uh, we're going to do law of attraction work. We're going to do, uh, uh, you know, we're going to do various limiting beliefs work, you know, self-sabotaging, self-limiting belief work on picking partners. Uh, we're also going to do work on, uh, you know, any love trauma or love pain, any abuse in relationships. We'll be using the movie technique to do that. So what I'm going to recommend everybody is if you don't already have one, go buy yourself a $2 or $1.50 or whatever it is. Uh, you can get a 180-page student spiral notebook for about a dollar, dollar eighty at Walmart's, and I think at the dollar store it's a dollar, you know. Uh, get yourself a little spiral notebook, and you're going to start making lists, and you're going to start documenting your progress uh, on this weekly workshop, okay? The people who do this kind of work seriously really get incredible results, okay? But you've really got to do the work, all right? You've got to be systematic about it, and you'll start to see some real changes, okay? All right, who else would like to check in, please? Go ahead. Uh, floor is open. And again, tonight's topic is using EFT and the law of attraction to uh, attract your soulmate or heal an existing relationship uh, for love, intimacy, uh, marriage, partnership, et cetera, happiness, et cetera. Go ahead, please. Hey, Tony. Um, Go ahead, Alana. Uh, Could you speak was... up? Guys, speak up because you're not coming through for some reason. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I would like to manifest um, my, my um, uh, what did you call it? Soulmate. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I, would, I would like to manifest my soulmate. Um, okay. And, you know, definitely, like, one of the things that c came up for me was, like, I mean, I obviously needed to be a healthy relationship and, uh, you know, just like having a heart connection and, uh, you know, and just in inspiring uh, spiritually and creatively. Um, and just like, I, I really want to have like a really great friend, you know, more than anything. Um, and someone that's trustworthy and honest and... Uh, trying to think if there's anything else i'm sure there is but that that's you know that's some of the most important to me. well the, actually you raised a very important point uh liana and i completely agree with you and this actually flashes back to a comment i once made many years ago uh with a woman who was a friend of mine and actually a, a lover you know uh, and I said to her kind of in a very offhand way, well, I only have sex with my friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I only have sex with women that are of my that are absolutely proven friends. Now, I have I have confessed I have broken that rule and <laughs> it cost me. <laughs> it's not wise to, you know, I mean, it's wise to to only be around someone who's really your friend. Exactly. Uh, you know, you can't, you know, if, they, if the person is incapable of really being a friend, well, they're not capable of much, you know, they're, they, they're not going to be capable of being a partner. You know what I mean? Right. And I also, I want someone who's present and like, you know, who's. Well, that shortens the list even more. <laughs> I know. Well, it's a short list, but all you need is one. You don't need 50, right? Right. And 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 humor helps, of course. Absolutely. Hey, Cass, welcome aboard. Can you hear us? Okay. Anybody Hi, else? Like I was on mute. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, welcome. This. Listen, okay. I was waiting for you because you've been demanding this workshop for weeks. <laughs> I and I said, be in love. Uh, 
Hey, Cass is a no show. I go, whoa, she's been, you've been <laughs> hawking me and hounding me for this workshop. I have, haven't I? Have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to check in? We're just, uh, we, we did the, we did, we're, we've got a new word. We call it the love tap for the gratitude tap for relationships. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I'm totally, love tap. I'm ahead, so yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm having a hard time walking. Everything is like falling apart. So I'm ready for a breakthrough and okay. beautifulness. So Checking in, that's pretty much my check-in. I have a crush on my phlebotomist, and I'm there all the time. So, <laughs> But I'm, I am looking forward to releasing um, whatever it is that's totally making me be with creepy guys over the years. And so um, I have to release it. it I'm attracting them. So I want to <laughs> attract Mr. Prince Charming. And I want someone with a golden heart. Maybe I was just going after like, the beautiful ones or something and they're all screwed up or <laughs> you know okay thank you i'm glad to be here <laughs> well i'm glad you made it Cass. welcome thank aboard you. and uh yeah i think we got another 12 so creepy creepy partners anonymous or creepy yeah. guys anonymous right <laughs> totally. okay. oh my god anyway. Okay, uh, anybody anybody else want to check in say hi uh what they'd like to tap on uh go ahead please floor is open Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hi. So, um, I guess I wanted to talk about bringing uh, physical intimacy back into a relationship. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, okay. Uh, do, do you want to? I mean, you can be totally anonymous, but is there a first night name you'd like me to call uh, us to call you? Vera. What's Vera? Vera. Okay. Welcome, Vera. Welcome aboard. Okay. Well, here's a couple of practices uh, that really work. I, I do a lot of couples work. And um, if you can get your partner to tap with you, are you familiar with EFT? I mean, uh, you, you, you understand what the tapping points and all that stuff is? Yes. We're actually sitting next to one another. Good. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll, I'll tell you two war stories that you'll like, okay? First of all, if you can get your partner to tap with you, that's 99% of the battle, okay? If you can do the gratitude tap or the love tap, okay, which is each one of you makes a list of the things that you're grateful for or that you admire that you're positive about with each other, okay? And then you do the love tap back and forth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? That is psychic spiritual Viagra. Okay? That is, that is basically that is basically what you're doing in a kind of mechanistic, Western, occidental way. Okay? Uh, you know, kind of, we're doing what is actually done during, uh, in the Tantra. Okay? Now, the Tantra is a series of Sanskrit lessons on perfect union, soul union between a man and a woman, okay? Uh, unfortunately, we only got the the comic book version, which is the Kama Sutra, mm. which is, you know, 300 things a boy and a girl can do on a rainy Sunday afternoon, okay? <laughs> um, the, 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 the preceding 1,200 pages, okay, the, the boring part, okay, is all about letting go of jealousy, envy, selfishness, fear, anxiety, hatred, resentment, and letting go of ego and learning how to achieve soul union with your with your partner. Okay? And then you go to the comic book section. Okay? Do you understand? But unfortunately, being a, a shallow culture that we are, we only know about the comic book section, which is the, you know, the the, the the 300 positions, right? Pictures. Pictures. <laughs> Show me the pictures, right? Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, if you can get your partner to tap with you, and if you do the gratitude tap, also if you do Ho'oponopono with each other. Right. We're familiar with that. Sit facing each other. Sit facing each other and do Ho'oponopono. Okay. Okay. Now, there's some more advanced exercises we can do. Uh, in the oncoming weeks, ongoing weeks, okay? Or, if you wish to, you can hire 
this amazing EFT master practitioner, Tony somebody, TG something. I don't know what his name is, but uh, he's pretty well known. Uh, I'm being silly here, but uh, you, you can hire me as a, you know, on a, as a private for a private session and I can coach you guys. Okay. If you want, or just do the work that I, I give it all away anyway for free. If you do the work, you're going to get there anyway. All right. But if you need somebody to push you to do the work, hire me. Okay. All right. So, uh, so I would say right now for the next seven days until next Tuesday, make, do the, do the love tap. Okay. Which is basically the gratitude tap, but based on each other. Okay. Being grateful for each other, do Ho'oponopono together, sit facing each other, do that once a day. And I, I assure you there will be an improvement in the intimacy or at least the, you know, the, it'll start to generate that love energy or whatever. Okay. There's other stuff that needs to be done. Okay. There are other exercises. There's other deeper, heavier work. Okay. All right. Uh, but that's, that's for, for this week, that's your ass- homework assignment. Is that, would that be burdensome? Or are you willing to do that? No, that sounds like a good plan. Okay, cool. Awesome. But well, welcome aboard. And like I said, we, uh, uh, this, this really, and I'll tell you the war story. I used to have a workshop in, uh, like I said, uh, in Hyde Park, which is uh, in the Hudson Valley. And I, I remember once a couple walked in and the girl says, that's it. I'm done with him. You know, I never want to sleep with him or see him again. And the guy said, that's it. I, I you know, I, I, you know, it's over, you know, and we started working and about halfway through the workshop. This was, a, there was about 15 people there. There's this loud whisper from the girlfriend to the guy, right? Can we go home now? I want to have sex with you. <laughs> this stuff really works. That's all I can say. <laughs> this stuff really works, but you yeah. got to do the work. You got to do the work. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless. And like I said, uh, get, get a spiral notebook. I know this sounds tedious and boring, uh, but uh, get a spiral notebook and we're going to start making lots of little lists and we're going to get into the deep, dark doo-doo that may be getting in, in between you two. Have you ever heard the expression with any couple, there's at least six other people in bed with them? No, I haven't. Well, that's what we're talking. We're talking about your family of origin, whatever weird messages you may have gotten as a child, uh, you know, about relationships, what, whoever and whatever you modeled on for relationshiping. OK, it really is amazing that the most important piece of human uh, experience, i.e. partnering, right, there is no training. You know, right. you go to you go to high school, they get your driver's license by the time you're 16. Right. Right. And uh, but they don't teach you how to date or how to have a relationship, do they? No, they don't. And then, of course, we rely on the real experts, mom and dad, right? Right, right. And, of course, that's a disaster, right? Okay. Uh, okay, how, how are we doing? Anybody else want to check in, say hi, uh, and also what you want to tap on? Okay, we're now going to move on to one of the other things we're going to start doing, which is love pain and love trauma. Okay, and uh, if you have a spiral notebook, you're going to start making lists of love pain or love trauma, anything that has caused you love pain or love trauma, okay, that's a five or above. And what we mean by a five or above, whenever you think of uh, this person or the relationship, okay, or this event, you, you know, you either want to cry or scream or, you know, and the intensity is like a, you know, a five or above on a scale of zero to 10. Now, zero being you're over it, doesn't bother you. 10 means you're scry- crying or screaming. Okay. And what we do is we make a list of all these events or memories or what have you. Okay. And we're talking about negative feelings like, you know, resentment, anger, fear, guilt, shame, loss, grief etc. Any negative feeling. Okay. And uh, then we're going to do something called the movie technique. Now, uh, Gary Craig used to call this the personal peace procedure. And you were encouraged to do this on everything about your life. Okay. Tonight's workshop is about relationship. So we're narrowing the scope to just, uh, you know, talking about love and relationships and intimacy. So any 
relationship situation or moment in a relationship that gave you a negative feeling of five or above goes on that list. Okay. All right. And then you just work through them doing the EFT movie technique or which we're going to do right now. All right. So what we're going to do right now is I want everybody in, in, in our little room to pick a movie, pick a YouTube. Okay. Of a love pain or love trauma that's a five or above. All right. And I want you all to just run that movie in your mind's eye. Close your eyes. Run that movie in your mind's eye. Rubbing your sore spot or tapping on your karate chop. And when you're done, say stop so I know you're done. Okay. So again, run your movie. Run your love pain movie. When you're done, say stop. Go ahead, please. Stop. Okay. Okay. Okay, is that everybody? You need to, if I can't hear you if you're too far away from the speakerphone. So uh, you, you may need to be closer to the speakerphone for me to hear you, okay? That's just a minor technical tip, okay? All righty, so now I want you guys to repeat after me. Uh, just oh, check in, what, the, what is the level of intensity of that movie, that love pain movie? Please check in with the level of intensity on a scale of zero to 10. Go ahead, please. Nine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All righty. And now, do you have any body feelings when you run that movie in your mind's eye? Do you feel it in your chest or your stomach or anywhere in particular? Guys, do you feel it anywhere specific? Uh, my my for my eyebrows get like angry. Okay. Anybody else? Any body feelings? My like heart, but like also in the back of my heart and then my stomach. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna, I call this the one size fits all script. Uh, and what you're going to do is you guys are going to fill in the blanks, okay? And, uh, uh, you know, I'll just kind of make it obvious. And you just fill it in to customize it for your own situation, okay? So now just repeat after me, okay? Simon says, now I'm rubbing my sore spot. You can rub your sore spot or tap on your karate chop, okay? doesn't matter. So even though I have this love pain movie. Even though I have this love pain movie. And my number is? My number is 10. And I feel, I feel it in my? I feel it anger in my brow. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Deeply, completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Very good. Excellent. So even though I have this love pain movie. Even though I have this love pain movie. And I feel this feeling of in my? I this feeling of betrayal in my heart. Okay. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. So even though I have this love pain movie and this feeling of in my... Even though I have this love pain movie and this feeling of betrayal in my heart. Okay. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, and all feeling of in my? All this love, pain, movie, and this feeling of betrayal in my heart. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Very good. Excellent. Let's go top of the head. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my? All love, pain, movie, all this feeling of betrayal in my heart. 
Okay, very good. Eyebrow, all love, pain, movie, all feeling of, in my. Very good. Side of the eye, all love, pain, movie, all feeling of, in my. Okay, under the eye, all love, pain, movie, all feeling of, in my. Love, pain, movie, is feeling of betrayal. Okay, under the nose, all love, pain, movie, all feeling of, in my. Love, pain, movie, has feeling of betrayal. In okay, under the mouth, all love, pain, movie, all feeling of, in my. <sighs> love, pain, movie, is feeling of betrayal. My heart. Okay, collarbone, all love, pain, movie, all feeling of, in my. This feeling of sadness in my heart. Under the arm, all love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. This love, pain, movie of sadness in my heart. Karate chop. So even though I have this love, pain, movie, and this feeling of in my. Even though I have this love, pain, movie, and this feeling of being let down. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. All oh, this love, pain, wound, and this feeling of betrayal of my heart. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Very good. Let's go to the top of the head. The choices. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. This love, pain, movie, this feeling of betrayal in my heart. Eyebrow, I deserve to heal, release, and let go. I deserve to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. All this love, pain, movie, this feeling of betrayal in my heart. Sigh the eye. Give myself permission to heal, release, and let go. Give myself permission to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. This love, pain, movie, and this feeling of betrayal in my heart. On the eye, I'm willing to heal, release, and let go. I'm willing to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. This love, pain, movie, this feeling of sadness in my heart. Okay, under the nose, it's safe for me to heal, release, and let go. It's safe for me to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. It's <sighs> love, pain, movie, and this feeling of sadness in my heart. Okay, under the mouth, I have the power to heal, release, and let go. I have the power to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. This love, pain, movie, this feeling of sadness in my heart. Collarbone. I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. This is all love, pain, movie, this feeling of sadness in my heart. Okay, under the arm, it's easy for me to heal, release, and let go. It's easy for me to heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. All love, pain, movie, this feeling of sadness in my heart. Karate chop. So even though I have this love, pain, movie, and this feeling of in my. Even though I have this love, pain, movie, and this feeling of sadness in my heart. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. To heal, release, and let go. To heal, release, and let go. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of in my. All love, pain, movie, all feeling of sadness in my heart. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Very good. Now we're going to do the let go, top of the head. Letting go of all love, pain, movie, and all feeling of in my. Letting go of all love, pain, movie, and all Okay, eyebrow, letting go. Letting go. Side of the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the nose, letting go. Letting go. Under the mouth, letting go. Letting go. Collarbone, letting go. Letting go. Under the arm, letting go. Letting go. There you go. Karate chop. Letting go of all love, pain, movie, and all feeling of in my. Letting go of all love, pain, movie, and this feeling of deep sadness in my heart. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Let's all take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, guys. Uh, now I want you to run the movie again a second time. Rub your sore spot or tap on your karate chop, whichever you prefer. Run that movie a second time. Run your love pain movie. When you're done, say stop and then your number. 
on a scale of zero to ten. Go ahead, please. Run that movie. Run your love pain movie, and when you're done, say stop and the number it is now. Go ahead. Stop. Not a five. Okay, good. Fine. <clears throat> like I feel like it's good that I focused in on it, and it's like a reset thing. Sort of, I've been disassociating to three, and now suddenly, like I'm feeling it more, like like I'm focusing on it. But I think so part of me feels lighter, and part of me is like feeling like, you know, kind of feeling it. Okay. Well, just keep tapping. Keep tapping. That's often the way trauma, you know, when you have PTSD, there's always this kind of pattern of disassociation and then getting back into it and disassociating and getting back into it. So don't worry. But persistence pays off with the MT. It can get worse before it gets better. Yeah. Well, we don't want to be the Spanish Inquisition, but that is true. Okay. Anybody else want to check in with their numbers? Okay. All right. So we'll do a second round and then uh, we'll move on to the good stuff. Okay. All right. So even though there's been some progress. Even though there's been some progress. I started at, say the number you started at. I started at a a nine. Then it went to 10. Then I'm down to a. (laughs) Then it went down to five. Okay. But there's still some remaining love pain movie and still some remaining feeling of in my. There's still some remaining love pain movie and still some remaining sadness in my heart. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. So even though there's still some remaining love pain movie and still some remaining feeling of in my. Even though there's still some remaining love pain movie and feeling of powerless and sadness in my heart. I choose to heal, release, and let go. Choose to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of sadness. Okay. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's go top of the head. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All this remaining love, pain, movie. This feeling of deep sadness. Eyebrow, all remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, this deep feeling of sadness in my heart. Okay, very good. Side of the eye, all remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of sadness in my heart. Okay, under the eye, all remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All this remaining love, pain, movie, all sadness in my heart. Okay, very good. Under the nose, all remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining movie, all remaining love, pain, Okay, under the mouth, all remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining sadness in my. Okay, collarbone, all remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of pain in my stomach. Okay, under the arm, all remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of uncomfort in my stomach. Karate chop. So even though there's still some remaining love, pain, movie, and still some remaining feeling of in my. Even though there's still some remaining love, pain, movie, and still some remaining discomfort in my stomach. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie, and all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, and all remaining feeling of my stomach. Okay, very good. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Very good. Let's go to choices. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. Eyebrow, I deserve to heal, release, and let go. I deserve to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie, all remaining feeling of in my. 
All remaining, all remaining love, love being really all remaining love. feeling of discomfort in my stomach. In my By the eye. Very good. I give myself permission to heal, release, and let go. Give myself, give myself permission, permission to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. Very good. Under the eye, I am willing to heal, release, and let go. I am willing to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of uncomfort in my stomach. Very good. Under the nose, it's safe for me to heal, release, and let go. Safe for me to heal, safe for me to heal release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. Under the mouth, I have the power to heal, release, and let go. I have the power to, power heal, to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining, all remaining love, love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. Collarbone, I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. Under the arm, it's easy for me to heal, release, and let go. Easy for me to heal, release, and let go. Easy for me to heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining, all remaining love, love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. Variety chop. So even though I have this uh, love pain movie and all, uh, all I have the remaining love pain movie and remaining feeling of in my. So even though I have. The even though I have that remaining love pain movie and all that feeling of discomfort in my stomach. I, I, I today right now I set a firm intention. Today right now I set a firm intention. To heal, release, and let go. To heal, release, and let go. All remaining love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of in my. All remaining. Love, all remaining love, love, pain, movie. All remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Let's go to the let go, top of the head. Letting go of all remaining love, pain, movie, and all remaining feeling of in my. Letting go. Letting go of all remaining love, pain, movie, and all remaining feeling of discomfort in my stomach. Very good. Eyebrow, letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Eye the eye, letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Under the eye, letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Under the nose, letting go. Letting go. Under the mouth, letting go. Letting go. Collarbone, letting go. Letting go. Under the arm, letting go. Letting, letting go. go. Karate chop, letting go of all remaining love, pain, movie, and all remaining feeling of in my. Letting go of all remaining love, pain, movie, and all <sighs> remaining discomfort in my stomach. That is and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive and myself anyway. And, completely, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Take a deep breath. And now release. <sighs> Okay, uh, very good. Uh, let's run that movie one more time. Rub your sore spot. Okay, run your rub your sore spot, and when you're done, uh, say stop and then your number. Okay, go ahead, please. Stop. Okay. Stop. And down to a three. You're down to a three. What are your numbers, guys? What are your numbers now? Seven. Susanna, do you hear me? Yeah, now I hear you. Okay, because I was this, I I couldn't make contact. Um, number four. Okay, good, excellent. Good, this progress. Anybody else want to check in? I mine definitely went down. Like I I was having so much pain in my chest, and that like now feels less, quite a bit less. Okay. So I'm probably down to like a seven, maybe. Okay, good. Well, again, I got two <clears throat> little tips for that. Uh, often when you're beginning this work, uh, you know, it, it, you have to do it more often, okay? You just have to rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. uh, people used to go to Gary and say, Gary, Gary, what's the inside track? What's the secret? You know, what's the fast track to EFT? You know, uh, and he would say, repetition, frequency, and specificity. And they say, no, no, Gary, you don't understand. <laughs> I'm special. I want the real insider deluxe version, you know? And he would say, repetition, frequency and specificity that's it uh, our behaviors are habits okay our feelings are habits our reactions and our responses are habits and the way you break a habit is with another habit you replace it with another habit and that's basically what we're doing we're 
you know, we're, we're using psychic, uh, spiritual, psychological McAfee antivirus to delete, okay, a program that's been installed with us, <laughs> often without our permission or knowledge, you know, but we're, you know, it, it takes frequency, okay? I'm sorry, it's going to take work. You know, I just want to share one funny story about my relationship workshop. Uh, usually the first the first night of the workshop, everybody shows up like it's a dating thing. So all the <laughs> girls are dressed gorgeous. The guys are, you know, all cologne and shaved and, you know, wearing their expensive fancy suits. And I said, you know, I got all, you know, I said, guys, if you're looking to date somebody in this workshop, you're in trouble. Guys and gals, you know, because, you know, you're here to do the work. I said, next week when you come back, I want to see scruffy blue jeans and sweatshirts and sneakers, you know. <laughs> yeah. Because we're not dating. We're working. We're doing real serious, deep, emotional, spiritual work, okay? Uh, but anyway, I just want to share that. Like I said, it was so funny the first night of all my, these dating workshops. Like everybody shows up like they're trying to pick somebody up, you know. Anyway. <laughs> okay guys um again the movie technique is very powerful now again you know whether it's an ongoing relationship or you're talking about stuff in the past uh again you need to clear out all this garbage you know you can be in a marriage or a relationship for several years and there's a lot there's a buildup of stuff you know and very often what we do and it's completely normal human behavior we kind of sit on it you know what i mean we don't really deal with it. We kind of stuff it under, you know. And, of course, what happens is it just builds up and builds up and builds up. And the next thing you know, you've got an, a lot of accumulated crap that needs to be cleared out. So that's why even in an existing relationship that may be quite healthy and okay, you know, uh, where there's no real abuse going on or anything like that or neglect or abuse or what have you, uh, you know, it's important to kind of do this kind of tapping work and EFT clearing out the, you know, cleaning, taking out the garbage, as it were, and the emotional psychic art. Obviously, if there's been abuse in the past, if there is trauma, and I'd call it love trauma rather than love pain, you know, PTSD, domestic violence, what have you, then we need to get serious. Then we're talking serious work, serious healing work, okay? Um, so there we go, guys. I want to thank you all for showing up tonight. This is our first in a series. This is an ongoing workshop. And again, like I said, I strongly recommend you all get yourself a little spiral notebook and we're going to start making lists and we're going to start working on the, both the negative stuff and also developing a vision for a perfect relationship with your soulmate. And basically we get to that stuff when, you know, we're going to do that on an ongoing basis, but we also have to clean out the garbage and then develop this, this new vision for love and intimacy and partnership. Okay. And so it's an, it's an ongoing process. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, uh, I would say that homework for those of you who are interested, uh, if you can do the love tap and Ho'oponopono once a day for the next seven days till next week, uh, that's uh, that'll be a good thing. I will try and make a recording of tonight's workshop, which you'll be able to download from uh, YouTube. And if you want that link, you you better email me or send me a note or something like I want my soulmate or send me the email or send me the link or something. OK, and I'll send you the whatever. Or for those of you who already know me and know me on Facebook, I'll post it on Facebook. OK, so uh, to, it's been a great night. I love you all. I think we're going to have a lot of fun together over the next week, a few several weeks. OK, uh, and uh, we're going to end with the abundance tab. OK. So let's just, uh, again, rub the sore spot or tap on your karate chop, whichever one you prefer. And just repeat after me, Simon says, even though I have been allowing the universe. Even though I have been allowing the universe. To manifest some abundance in my life. To manifest some abundance in my life. I choose to allow the universe. I choose to allow the universe. To manifest even more abundance in my life. To manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. So even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life. Even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life. 
I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance into my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. So even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life. Even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Okay, so let's go karate chop. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Okay, let's go top of the head. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. Very good. Eyebrow, even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of love. Side eye, even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. Under the eye, even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of good health. Under the nose, even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Under the mouth, even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. All about even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Under the arm, all even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Body chop. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. Top of the head. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. Eyebrow. Even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of love. Eye the eye. Even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. Under the eye. Even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of good health. Under the nose, even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Under the mouth, even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. All about even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Under the arm, even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Okay, we're on the home stretch. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. Top of the head. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance into my life. Eyebrow, even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of love. Side eye, even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. Under the eye, even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of good health. Under the nose, even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Under the mouth, even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. All about even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Under the arm, even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Very good, Karate Chop. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. And I'll release. Okay, guys, I think we've had a wonderful night's tapping on relationships, at least a beginning. And I think we've had a great first workshop. Uh, and like I said, on the as we as we carry on on the on the ongoing weeks, you're going to start seeing how this all fits together as a really powerful healing program for change. And again, healing our existing relationships. Or if, like I said, if you're uh, looking to find a, a real soulmate and having a really healthy relationship, uh, you know, this the work that we're going to be doing here is going to really help you. So, guys, yeah. I love you all. Uh, have a good night's sleep. Uh, we will be on again tomorrow night. Wednesday night is ACOA or Family of Origin uh, night where we use EFT to heal ACOA or Family of Origin issues. Okay. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so, uh, that's about it. Really. Uh, I love you all. Have a wonderful night. See you, Cass. You're all, you're, you're on the, you're in the big picture right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tony. That was Thanks. awesome. Thanks, Tony. I have a question. How do I mute and unmute myself? Cause I got lost. Okay. I think on phones, it's star one. If you guys want to try that, it should work. Uh, with the, if you're on the, uh, on, if you're on the system, 
I think all you need to do is uh, uh, there's a little speaker button that you click. Now, there's also if you have a smartphone, you can actually download a Fuse app. Cam, who's one of our members, our group members, a regular group member, she actually uses the app on her smartphone. Uh, and it, I think it works pretty good. I'm not sure. Uh, I have a couple of friends who have it on their iPhone, and it works all right. Uh, so there you go. All right, guys. Like I said, we'll be on tomorrow night for Family of Origin ACOA issues. And I love you all. And if you guys feel free to you know, email me or contact me or whatever, I'm available on Facebook and a few other places. And I, as soon as I get this recording done, I'll send it all to you, okay? So Thank take you. care. See you, Cass. God bless you. See everybody. See you, Anna. See you, Liana. See everybody. Smoochy face, huggy poos. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.